came here. Welcome to another episode of Coming At You from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Pow! Right here. Love Can't Wait. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. So, today I'm, I'm going to talk about some stuff that most guys don't know about women or maybe they don't put too much thought into it and the reason why it's important because it's the small little things that makes a difference and it's just some things you should know about women I'm not saying all women but as a collective you know most women at the core are pretty much the same. Oh, uh, yeah, they might have different cultures, might speak a different language, they might dress different, they might be socialized different, they might be different sizes, different shapes, different whatever. But at the core, most women. All the same, really. Now, once you get to the Europeans, women, that's when things tend to get drastically different. That's a story for another day. But the average woman, that's what I'm talking about. You know. Now, one thing you should know about women is they're very competitive amongst each other it's just a weird dynamic they have amongst each other you know they're kind of um they're not they don't really like each other you know they just tolerate each other and they'll sure they'll come together for calls or or they have the same agenda or they might have they might work together or they might be a part of the same organization of course they'll come together but at the same time they don't really trust each other you know they don't really they don't really like each other now you would think that being that there's so many women around the world or just women in the United States of America that they would rule and dominate everything by now. But no, they don't. And that's because they really don't like each other. They just tolerate each other. And a lot of a lot of the women's girlfriends secretly want what they got. They always in competition with each other. You know, it's it's a weird dynamic, man, that happened between them. You know, guys, we're competitive, but not in the way that women are. You know, guys are competitive, but it's kind of in our nature to be competitive. You know, it's we actually talk about the competitiveness amongst each other. Now, women, they don't talk about it. It's it, that it, it's kind of in the background. You know, even so they're laughing and smiling with each other and, you know, they hanging out with each other and secretly her girlfriend wants to smash or sleep with her man or, the, or, or husband. She's secretly having thoughts about sleeping with her husband at, at, at some point in time. Now, of course, she would. Her her girlfriend would never admit to this, but I'm telling you, at least one of her girlfriends or somebody that she hangs around has thought about sleeping with her husband or her boyfriend. That's how it is, and nobody told me this, 
when I was younger because it's kind of like one of those taboo subjects um I can't tell you how many times I've been hit on by my girlfriends friends and over the years and it's really on you as a man if you want to smash that's cool it's on you you know I'm not the moral police here but you can now some guys will say hey you know I'm just gonna tell my my wife or my girlfriend and let her handle that I don't really think that's a good idea all the time based on my experience because if you tell your 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 girlfriend or your wife she might flip on you because a lot of women tend to be very that tends to be a very touchy subject especially if she spends a lot of time with these women because she's already emotionally attached to a lot of these women and she's used to hanging around them and if she finds out that they're doing something that she doesn't like she has, now she has to uh, probably have to cut them off so more than likely she doesn't want to do that so she'll just go into denial or just find a way to justify why what you said or whatever you saying is maybe you took it out of context or maybe you just if something that was blown out of proportion or maybe it was a miscommunication you know so she, she will justify why you're saying what you're saying is not true so that's why I don't think it's a good idea for you to say anything if any of her girlfriends hit on you just take care of it on your own that's what I would say that's why I said it's on you on how you choose to handle the situation and a lot of these girlfriends that she has they're not really a lot of these they don't she doesn't really know where they where they really stand they don't really have no foundation they don't really have a, a in most cases they don't really have a real friendship they just have hangout buddies you know somebody that you call and Maybe y'all go shopping together, go to dinner, maybe even take a vacation together. But they don't really have, they don't really do anything together that's, that's long lasting that you can show your, that they can show their children one day. Say, hey, this is what we built together. You know, they don't necessarily do anything like that. Now, there's always an exception to the rule, but in most cases, most of these women don't really establish anything together, you know, so they don't really, it's, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird dynamic, man, amongst these women, and it's, if you're a man, you really can't, it's really hard to talk to a lot of these women about the, the their friends and the people that they hang around and another thing that I, I've learned over the years is a lot of women aren't really into men you know I don't um, there's a lot of reasons for it though I think it's how some women been socialized and how some women have been raised and it's how they it's their perception on how uh, a relationship between a man and a woman is supposed to be like for example like some women I know they see man as just it's just for transactional purposes 
So, for example, if, if the man do does this, I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? So a man is just supposed to kind of like save her or rescue her or pick up the slack or do something that she can't do on her own. That's a transactional type of relationship. A lot of women are like that too. You know, so, and it's kind of, um, a lot of these women are very manipulative. Great, they'll manipulate you in the beginning. Because if you meet them, they'll be nice to you. They'll go above and beyond the call of duty. But as time goes on, weeks, months, all of a sudden, she starts to fall off, slowly but surely. And the only reason that is, because whatever you was doing in the beginning, or maybe you're not progressing as fast as she would like and doing whatever she would like so now she's slowly but surely pulling away you know what I'm saying and sometimes it doesn't happen very often sometimes a lot of these women will just cut you off like overnight you know one day you call her you get no response no phone call no nothing number change everything and you got to be careful for, with each woman. They're great manipulators. You know, a man is only around just to pick up the slack or to save her or do something that she can't do on her own. And you can kind of tell these women because they, they're into their girlfriends more than they're into guys. You know? It's like when the girlfriends come over, or when they see the girlfriends, they're all excited and shit. Like, like they haven't seen the girlfriends in years, but they might have seen her last week. But if a guy comes through, it's kind of like, oh, you know, oh, hello. It's the lazy hello, or the, you know, the fake smile. And then you can, and then if you listen to the, how a lot of these women talk about guys, they're always negative, bashing guys. You know, they don't really have anything positive to say. But when it comes to women, women can do no wrong. Even if women do something that's awful, terrible, they're still trying to put her up on a pedestal like she's the greatest thing since sliced bread but then you got women that aren't really into guys they really they won't I know some women won't say anything bad about guys period even if they they'll say they won't bash them they'll say well you know what that's not the best move he could have made but they won't bash them you know they won't bash anybody Especially a man, because they're in the men. They they love being around men more than women, which is used to be a natural thing. But I don't know about today. But you know, but that's just something you should be aware of when you interact with women. I mean, how you know? It's just. A lot of this stuff comes with experience. You know, I can tell if a woman's into a guy by the way she looks at him. Does she make time for him? Or she said, hey, I'm, I don't got time. I'm tired. Does she make a lot of excuses? If she makes a lot of excuses and can't find time to see a guy, she's not into him. But if she makes time to see her girlfriend, even though she might have worked 12, 18 hours today, but she makes time to see her girlfriend anyway, she's very much in the, the girl. You know what I'm saying? So, see, a lot of women kind of want to play both sides. They kind of like want to live the double life, you know. But these are just some things you should be aware of. You know, because a lot of guys... don't really pay attention 
It's the little stuff that makes a difference. And women are good at hiding stuff. First, then guys. They're very good at hiding stuff. They, they can hide stuff for years. And then two, three years later, four or five years, however, it could be years before a guy finds out. But they're good at doing that. Because what happens is, in most cases, is the women usually have the these women are very good manipulators, just like I said earlier. They use these the guys are usually secluded. Just him and her. And he hasn't probably don't really have anybody to talk to. Or if he does talk to anybody, it's not very often. So it's just him and her and she, you know, um, She does stuff to manipulate him and have him all confused. And after a while, he, I mean, his job is to basically cater to her needs and obligations and desires and all this. So he has no time for anybody else, including his family. So as long as he keeps being busy, he, he doesn't have time to think about anything. And this is how a lot of women hide stuff. Because as long as she got you wrap around her finger like a thumb sucker, you have no time to think. You know, all you have time to do is work and take care of the household. So now you're like a little slave. And and this is one of the easiest ways to really hide anything because if I got you going around in a circle on the on the training wheels you know uh, if you keep spinning your wheels and you too busy being busy I can damn near do anything behind your back and by the time you sit down and have time to think two five seven years done blown by and then you catch on but by that time, you already have, already established yourself and got all this shit together, kids, family, and money and assets together. So now, you probably going to be stuck because she's taking control over so much shit. So now... Some guys will say, you know what, it's cheaper to keep her. And they don't want to go, I don't think any guy wants to go through the court system. So they'll be like, some guys will weigh their options, they say, okay, if I get a divorce, I'm going to split this, I'm going to pay this in spousal support and child support. So they'll be like, you know what, cheaper to keep her. And this is some stuff that you probably didn't know about a lot of women and most of the time they learn this from their mothers you know and I talk about this I talk about the game in my book on amazon.com baby don't cheat yourself treat yourself so if you like what you heard subscribe to my channel like this video and check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Until next time, Sean Gamers out. Peace.